Well, Rob Toovey, you're here today at a community event at Plough Lane. As someone who was involved in this kind of stuff many years ago, what does this mean to you? Yeah, no, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, when you look at all the boys and girls out here enjoying it at Plough Lane, it's, it's so special. And you look at the facilities that we're now able to offer in the community, it's, it's superb to see. And just to see all the smiles on their faces and being active is, is brilliant to see. Um, local local boys and girls learning about Wimbledon and hopefully becoming Wimbledon fans. When I was with the foundation and the academy, we always struggled for facilities and to put events like these on was almost like a dream. So um, to have this facility now and to see, I think it's over 100 kids today um, out here enjoying their football up Plough Lane is, is brilliant to see. And Shane, there's a few tricky uh, questions from the kids there, wasn't he? How did you handle them? Yeah, well, it wasn't easy. Some good questions. I think let me get note off you, I think, for the trick, trick questions from you. But yeah, that no, was enjoyable. As you said, it's good to see them smiling and enjoying and kind of looking around in awe, really, at the stadium, right? But, and just being on the pitch. And, yeah, I think it's enjoyable, you know. To bring back a few memories for yourself of when you were playing and when you you know, you know went to schools, events and getting involved in definitely, football? Definitely, yeah, but when I was playing back home, we definitely didn't have any footballers, coaches coming down like that. It was just more local volunteers so hopefully they've enjoyed getting to ask us a few questions and see us and stuff. And there was also a Gaelic football involvement, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah there was, yeah. Until I was probably fourteen, yeah. Yeah yeah. Do you look back and pinch yourself in a way at your days at Castle Islands when, you know, it looked like it was gonna be difficult to forge your career? Definitely, definitely. I'm not sure how many people would have thought I might have got this far, but it's one of those things I believe I would, so and I think that's what got me through it. Great, Rob, he's an example coming along to these kind of events and it's what we should be all about at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. We're really big on the players coming out and getting into the community and that's how we're going to drum a uh, fan base, a young, vibrant fan base that we want to fill this stadium uh, week in, week out. So it's really important that all the players play their part in that and anything that we can do as a first team to try and support all these events, then we'll be here and um, we'll always be a presence at these events. Just finally, Shane, uh, we've stayed in League One for another season. Uh, really big achievement considering where he was in January. What does that mean to you and the squad? I think we were all absolutely buzzing once the game settled down. We were pretty disappointed with how the game ended on the weekend. And we wanted to win and stay up, not lose and have results go our way. But as you said, from where we've come from, it's been a big achievement. But now it's about stepping on and going again. And as we've been talking about looking up, so look behind our shoulders for next season. And you mentioned uh, your local connection with your uncle in the past. Uh, have you heard much from him about you know how pleased he is about Wimbledon staying up? Yeah, he's very pleased. He's just more looking forward to getting in here. He's been telling me, and he yeah. can't wait for until the fans are back in and he can down and sample it for himself.